Keegan, who scrawled it, obviously, who is making fun of one of the boys in training at the Palatine Hill, who is obviously a Christian. Well, this is a pagan representation. The question is, are there any Christian depictions of a scene from the Passion from the days of the Roman Empire? And the answer is no. None that have been discovered at any rate. And why? Well, the traditional theory is that the Christians were so embarrassed by the crucifixion of Christ that they simply refused to acknowledge it in any art form. After all, it was the lowest criminals who were crucified. And we do know from Paul, 1 Corinthians, that people mocked the crucified Christ. He says, the preaching of the cross is to them that perish a foolishness, but for us who are saved it is the power of God. But this embarrassment theory, built on such statements as Paul, is belied by the epistles and the gospels themselves. Obviously, they were quite open about preaching the crucified Christ. And the epistles and the gospels, there is no disguising the passion and the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. They emphasize his blood, his suffering, and his death on the cross. The first epistle of Peter says that the Christians are the elect because of the blood shed by Jesus. But the question remains, why are there no depictions in ancient times of the passion of Jesus Christ? Well, in fact, there is very little extant Christian art until the third century AD. And even then, the art is in the catacombs and carvings on sarcophagi or coffins. And here, which is art, of course, not for public display, there still are no passion and crucifixion scenes. What do we see in the funerary painting of the Christians? We have Old Testament scenes like Daniel in the lion's den. We have the various miracles of Christ portrayed. We have symbols of Christ, like Christ as a good shepherd, and various generic Christian symbols, like the dove as a symbol of the soul. Perhaps our question, why are there no depictions of the passion of Christ, cannot be answered solely from within the context of Christianity. Perhaps we should look at a wider picture, and that is the entire society within which Christianity grew up. If we were alive in the first few centuries AD, we would find that the most common comparison of Jesus to any other deity would be between Jesus of Nazareth and the god Dionysus. Dionysus, as a child, died a very brutal death. He was literally ripped apart by the titans, partially consumed by these primordial beasts, and then resurrected, brought back to life by his father, Zeus. Everyone in antiquity knew the story of Dionysus, but I have never in 30 years of studying Greek history, Greek religion, ever seen a depiction of the death of Dionysus. Now, the death of Dionysus is even reenacted in the cult of Dionysus. Here you have a Bacchant, a Menad, one of the followers of Dionysus. Notice the nice little fawn in her arms. Well, look at another depiction. That is the fawn ripped in half, because during the cult of Dionysus, they would literally recreate the death of their god by ripping animals apart and consuming the flesh raw. But they never, even despite this gruesome reenactment of the god's death, they never depicted the death of their god. There are scenes which approximate this. We have a follower of Dionysus gazing in the face of the young god, knowing he's about to die. But the Greeks and the Romans never brought themselves to depict the death of Dionysus. There was something in the ancient psyche that precluded representing violence done to deity. It was not something peculiar to Christians, but shared amongst people of all faiths.